The railway is a very convenient type of transport for both transporting people and various goods. From year to year, the railway infrastructure is becoming more developed and improved, with special attention paid to safety elements. Being near a railway track, in certain places, you may have noticed that in addition to the main rails, additional rails may be installed inside. Usually, such rails can be found on sections of the railway that pass over bridges over rivers, gorges, highways, as well as under pedestrian and automobile bridges. In addition to bridges, additional rails are also installed at turnouts, passenger platforms, at railway crossings, and in curves with a radius of less than 250 meters. Such additional rails are called, counter rail, guard rail, or, counter corner. A guard rail and a counter angle are installed inside the railway pier at a distance of 40 to 45 centimeters from the main rail, on particularly dangerous sections of the railway in order to prevent the wheel set with the car from turning in the event of a derailment. Sometimes accidents occur on the railway, as a result of which a car or the entire train can derail, often with the wheel sets and cars turning in different directions. If this happens on a bridge or under it, then the derailed cars can damage the bridge structure or completely destroy it when turning. To prevent this, guard rails are installed, which, in the event of a car derailing, will not allow it to turn in any direction, and it will continue to move straight until it comes to a complete stop, but the guard rail cannot prevent the car from derailing, but only sets the direction of movement of the already derailed car. Another matter is a counter rail, which is installed in front of turnouts, at railway crossings and in curves with a radius of less than 250 meters. Its task is to prevent the flange from hitting the rail and the subsequent derailment of the wheel pair. The counter rail holds the wheel pair and does not allow it to move to the side, and also reduces the dynamic load on the main outer rail. Now, having seen additional rails inside the railway tracks, you will know why they are needed. Subscribe to the channel, there will be much more interesting ahead.